Welcome everybody to a very special edition of Power Down, episode number 44 from the Hex Quarters, the place where content magic is made all the freaking time. All right? the time. All the time. 44 episodes? Yeah. yeah. 44. Holy shit. We've been slowed down So too. we've been, yeah, we've been like on hiatus on and off. So it's like we were going really good and then we're on and off. And then now we're trying to really swing it back up and get to 100, dude. Do you guys upload to, uh, to any audio platforms? I do iTunes. Uh, SoundCloud and YouTube, and I haven't found a way to do all the other ones like in a way that made sense to me. Like, I, I use couldn't. Lipsyn, and Lipsyn, uh, when you upload there, it it syndicates to iTunes, Google Podcast, uh, Spotify, um, Stitcher, and so like so one one upload it handles ma- all of it. The only is one it, it doesn't free ha- or no? You got paid for it? How no, much? you pay for it. I, I, it depends bit. on how much how much bandwidth you use, but I think it's like I don't know, maybe forty. I want to say it's not bad. Yeah. Splitsies yeah, Jedi. We can split these. As usual, we got Amanda the Jedi. What okay. Up? And yeah. then obviously, <laughs> since we're here, we have Hector. Um, we've done like a bunch of podcasts together, but this is like the first, I guess, yeah. podcast I've done in person, yeah. which is pretty cool. That's cool. Um, we did an episode like a, a few weeks ago, and then we didn't like continue going because we wanted to make sure the next one after that had Hector and then it just made the most sense to wait until we were all in the same place. We're all here in Fort, or no, we're here in Dallas or Frisco. We just got back from Fort Worth. Yeah, though, yeah. So got back. I can see where you were going with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, that's why Amanda's here. I, yeah. I want to say one thing though. Yeah. You can shoot your podcast from here anytime you want. Okay. We're oh, like, well, we're like oh, apart. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I it would look cooler, I guess. It would. Yeah. I'll just fly out. I can afford that for yeah, sure. Yeah, dri- just, just weekly. Drive. Wait, just how far is the drive from here to wherever you're from? I wouldn't even know, dude. She's from like way upper East Coast Canada. She's like, like Atlantic. Canada. Way, I'm on the yeah. Atlantic Ocean. She's like, like way so a could, couple times. You can see Atlanta. Alaska from where you're at. No, I'm not north enough. We can see like Greenland. Not actually. Really? Uh, <laughs> oh, no. dude, I was about no, to like. Oh, you said east. Flat. Yeah, I was like, yeah, east. East. Not yeah. west. Yeah. I'm not a moron. Yeah. I promise. Yeah. I was like east. Alaska. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm not Far a moron. East. Yeah. Dude, you, two different time zones from here. <laughs> you just <laughs> blew my mind with that shit. <laughs> yeah. Don't clip that. Don't so, clip. Yeah. so <laughs> did you guys have a good time at the event? Obviously, like it was a rough placing for optic, but the the event itself was it's awesome. Amazing. I liked it a lot. Yeah. I had a good time. What's your favorite moment? I know when Roger got got asked to be an optic. That, that actually was that my was amazing. Moment. Yeah, I think like I don't know if you got well. We can tell a story. Like yeah. Have, yeah. have we told it before? Have you told it before Mm-mm. in the in the no. vlog? Um, basically, we were all out having a great time reading books at the library. Definitely not having any drinks. Never. No. No. We were no. We were definitely having drinks. It was a good time. Good vibes. I was gonna vibes. say we were drunk. Yeah, we were drunk. <laughs> <laughs> but that wasn't the reason why. Though. No, 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 no. I had no. already been thinking about it for a while. Yeah, that's how I yeah. knew. And like, I I was hanging out by Jedi or something, and I hear Hector go, Ash. I'm like, okay, yeah, what's up? Like, what, how's it going? And he's Yo. like, yeah. he's like, yeah. And he's like, um, Yo, I'm gonna ask Roger to join Optic. Get everybody here. So we got like, Bo, Spratt, me, Davis, Aaron. I'm pretty sure that was the the dudes that were yeah. there. And then like. We find Roger and we bring him over. And oh, yeah, Amanda was there too. Amanda was there. So the yeah, whole thing. I was just sitting. Happened. I was yeah. intruding. You were, you were just chilling. You had the optic patch. So. I did. It was fine. Yeah, so, <laughs> so she bring or he brings him over and Hector just says, "Welcome to optic." Like, bro. I start cr- he started crying. There was some dust in the air. Yeah, I was like, like a little misty in there. Yeah. he got misty on. I guess. Let's just say that I appreciated his reaction to it. The thing is, for the last like year. I'm very strict about. I don't know. I, I used to be. I used to be more strict than I am now. Yeah. About you know who can or cannot. Well, it's like you're and protecting like your name. Basically. Yeah. Someone fucking has to. <laughs> uh, do we swear in here? Yeah. Cool. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. We're just open conversation. Like, uh, there's yeah. no rules. <laughs> you know, Roger. Roger has been really good at sort of keeping optic optic from a content perspective. Yeah. Not really switching up like the 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 way that we did things for so many years that was obviously the successful way of doing stuff so you know he he went to he, he defended the brand in, in situations where you know some sponsors may have not wanted to do it a different way so uh, for mm-hmm. for a whole year he he fought hard he did he did uh, he did right by optic and i and i appreciated about him and he's a good dude so I welcomed him to Optic. The crazy thing is that I've known that I was going to make him Optic for a long time. Really? Yeah, even Maddie knew. Even <laughs> Maddie knew. And, and now Roger's going to be really mad that he never told oh, me. No. Uh, Matt and I have this, like, very strict rule. I'm like, you're going to hear shit in this, in, in this space yeah. that you can... Ne- well, one, he's under NDA, but, you know, mm-hmm. that, that, that don't matter. <laughs> but 
no snitches. Yeah, you know? exactly. Because it's, it's, there's, there's, there's a broader plan here. But yeah, he did really good. He didn't tell him. That's mm-hmm. amazing. He's proud. I think like Roger's reaction was really unique because it's it's not. I know he was like flustered almost about it, right? Jenny? He, he was like, yeah, oh, he I'm did afraid, pretty like, much exactly what I thought he was gonna do. After he was away from the group, he came over to me and he was like, I gotta say no. And I was like, no, this is different. He's like, no, we had this conversation at TwitchCon. Like, it's going to dilute the brand. And I'm like, no, if you have, like, Hector welcome you, in, you into the family, like, yeah. he's clearly thought about this. This is not just, like, a split-second decision. Like, yeah. Be, I told like, him, accept he, it. He, came, he comes up to me. He's like, hey, man, you know, I want to talk. I'm like, don't fucking ruin it. <laughs> yeah, and, then, and then he's like, all right, I'm out of here. Fucking wait, we'll go yeah. get drunk. But, yeah, that's funny. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think, like, I don't know, Optic just being in for so long, like, we really are a family. Like, it, that's what it feels like. And mm-hmm. so... You can have like he, he's a really hard worker. He's he gets it, which is like the number one thing. And then he's just like I don't know. It's like a he respects like a the culture. Yeah, yeah, he respects the culture, and it's kind of like a bond that just has been getting better and better over time. And so it made perfect sense. Like when you said it, I was like, oh, that makes perfect sense. You know, I'm mm-hmm. I'm so stoked. I checked him with Hitch first. Yeah. What yeah. Did, what wow. did he say? He said obviously. He said uh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. He said he said yeah. He was surprised that I did because he knows how I am with with this, you know, the, yeah. the way that I do things. Yeah. So I was like, all right. And I explained to him. He's like, why are you explaining to me? I already said yes. I'm like, I just want you to know that I'm not going soft. Yeah. You know, like, this is this is what it is. Mm-hmm. A- anyway, so I, I opened up Google. I'm going to be your Jamie. So if you guys, any topics, I got you. I'm oh, dude. Awesome. You got it. He's got the laptop right there. So yeah. if we have he's any questions, it. fact Perfect. check. Check. Look up any crazy conspiracy theories if we start talking <laughs> yeah. about them. Do you guys know. do a lot of conspiracy theories? We do, we don't do a lot of anything. We just kind of talk about whatever. Like we talk about just what's going on with us or what's going on like in like entertainment, movies, news, awesome. like kind of yeah. like big trending topics that people might want to hear like opinions on. And, if I yeah. did a daily podcast, which I want to do really badly, daily dude, a daily podcast, uh, would it I be think, solo? I don't know. No, I'd, I'd have guests. Really? If not, then I'll probably just throw somebody in there yeah uh, but I, I do want to do uh, a daily podcast I think that that, that I can and like knowing what it is I don't know if Maddie will be able to you know keep up with that because <laughs> I do want to make it live mm-hmm. okay um, oh that'd be cool yeah and then you know since it's live it's it's a lot easier to just public you know make it public to, to YouTube that, that yeah. much quicker yeah um, but that's cool yeah trending topics like I want to talk about all that I want to talk I think, about yeah, politics like, I want to talk about the whole night well, I have opinions <laughs> I know conspiracy theories though is what I was going to say it's an, in high school I was super into conspiracy theories. Really? This was well, even yeah. before like 9-11 stuff. Yeah. What was like your main bitch conspiracy theory that you were like convinced you would tell people about? Do you have like one that sticks out in your mind? Yeah. The Illuminati. Yeah. There's, there's a book that I read by William Cooper called Behold a Pale Horse. Uh, I was going to type it, but I already know it. Um, <laughs> I read that book uh, twice in high school okay. and maybe started to read it again like way after. Um, but there was so many theories there that made so much sense. Um, obviously, the euro being the euro, right? And mm-hmm. at one point, you know, the the people that are in power, to, you know, we're talking about creating this sort of monetary uh, thing in the Americas called the Amero. But yeah. it would it would mean. Do you guys hear about that? You guys yeah, hear about yeah. That? I feel like I have. Yeah, okay. like I watched the History Channel thing way back when. <laughs> yeah, so like all of that, and I imagine ha- all this in like 1995. Yeah, like shit that hadn't even happened like six yeah. years later. That was is when before the internet, dude. Yeah, that was before the internet. <laughs> yeah, I had to go to the library. Well. I stole the book. You stole the book. But I bought, uh, but I bought two books. I bought the same book twice. Okay. Oh wow. I, I, was, I, I did the same thing with one of my favorite artists, and I'm jumping all over the place. But there's this guy named Aesop Rock, my favorite rap artist. Yeah. I didn't really like his some of some of his things, but I'm like, I'm gonna buy them anyway because I downloaded like, like the early ones. Yeah, mm-hmm. support. So the reason I didn't buy this book was because my friend Danny told me he's like, no, you can't buy it, bro, because if you buy it then you're going to be in the system. And at the time, being in the system wasn't a thing. So you know, like wow. tracking. Yeah, Think about yeah. it, before the internet. That wouldn't be Being thing. in the system is like your hardcore, like America's Most Wanted was probably airing once a week. At that yeah, yeah exactly. at that point. So yeah, so I'm, I'm super into conspiracy theories. I mean, still to this day, like I'm, I'm really... That's dope. I'm really good at questioning things. Yeah, I think everybody should. I don't know if everyone should just blindly believe every like kind of rough yeah. conspiracy, mm-hmm. but... Um, I had a, in high school, I took a speech class, right? So maybe that's why I'm don't ever shut up. But <laughs> basically I took a speech class and our job was to do, oh God, what was the word? It was basically like a convincing speech. Okay. Like I had to convince my classmates okay. of something like I had to sell it, which I'm also good at. <laughs> and I. Sponsors. Who's the sponsor for this episode? Use code midnight on scuff controllers. 
Use code, oh, I can't, I can't say it. Yeah, you can. Use code JEDI right now for 30% off G Fuel products. There you go. There's yeah, our sponsors. G-Fuel. We got to, maybe you could look up some sponsors for us. I don't know. We got we got to get some codes going. Yeah, for you guys have to. I, I, I mean, yeah, um, I could. I could. I, I never, if... If you could have your own, we talked about this before. I think maybe you were on the podcast tonight. If you yeah. could have your G Fuel code, what would it be? Like my no, no, my so not code, not code flavors. Yeah, yeah. yeah, flavor. Oh, flavor, dude! It would definitely be blue, like midnight blue. But I hate blueberry. Oh, see, I love it because I was gonna say blueberry. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, what flavor would I have? Got you it. Can I think of something better. I wanted uh, passion fruit. Passion. Fruit? There is no passion fruit because the Jedi whole thing is like there's no passion. Oh, you know, so there is no passion fruit. Uh, I mean, I actually don't know that because I don't, I really don't know that because yeah, <laughs> <that's, laughs> I love Star Wars, but I'm yeah, not. it's like I the Jedi code. It, You're not, it. Yeah, it. no, I get it. Like you go. I actually it. just like the word Jedi and like the Jedi as a concept more than I actually like Star Wars. Mm-hmm. Like I do no, like Star Wars a lot, but it's really? not my favorite franchise. Interesting. What's your favorite franchise? I like this is basic for you. I like Harry Potter a lot. I'm yeah. one of those that's people. Like I grew up with that, and I really respect what Marvel's been doing lately. How old are you? How old are you? Twenty nine. I'm about to have 39. Him. Yeah. I'm about to hit 30 this summer and I'm about to like just. You're about to be a 30 year old. I know. You're about to be a 30 year old phenom. I know. Welcome to the club. I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm leveling up. I feel like I'm about to peak. Like I feel like my 20s were cool. Yeah. And like I had a great time. Yeah. But I'm kind of looking for that new like turn the page moment. Like yeah. kind of it's setting myself into a new direction. But also still like doing me what's fundamentally me. Yeah, absolutely. So How do you, sorry. I just thought about it. I'm like, I, I wish I had a partner to do podcasts with. You know what I'm saying? Because like, like a yeah, right? <laughs> uh, like Hutch would be like my oh, fucking. All, if I if I had a draft pick of who I can, who I would do a podcast with, number Hutch would be my number one. Part. And then Diesel. Uh, that would be good. Yeah, yeah no, dude, you guys should definitely do an Umu podcast. Yeah, we tried. Mm-hmm. It didn't. It's, it's, it's yeah, hard. Yeah. It's hard. Quiz to... would be a really good one too because yeah. he's just funny. Anyway, I, I I have but if my number one draft pick would probably be Hutch because he's just. I just know what to say to get them really riled up <laughs> yeah. and, and have like a half hour conversation yeah. about something. And it wouldn't even be hard to do that. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually in the process, you know, because I said that I like, you know, politics. I, I'm actually in the process of trying to get a senator really? on the oh, eavesdrop wow. so we can talk about it. Is La- this that guy that was maybe in like a vlog at some point or something? Mm-hmm. I feel like there was like a some politician. Pol- politician? Politi- maybe it was like when we when you first got here, you like. I, I, I had an opportunity to talk to a politician about the whole, what yeah, was it, CISPA, yeah. CISPA and stuff? Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah, I think so. The, the internet rights and shit? That would be so, really interesting. Yeah. No, I want to. I would have to prepare for this one more than anything because I don't want to. Because yeah. the, the people outside of the internet would be like right. tuning yeah. in to see it. Yeah. And then I would become like a public person like yeah. more than I am now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think I... Think I I'd, and I'm in the process. That would of, be cool. And, and that would be. But where I was going is that I want Hutch to be a part of that because he's going to have better suited questions well, than, than I do. Yeah. And like right now actually would be a perfect time to get into like political discussion. Right. Like we're about to go into. Oh, yeah. There's like an election. Get, going yeah. On the here, nomination. Right? Yeah. Well, yeah. it's like in the next couple yeah. of years. Yeah. We're going through the, the nomination process. President. Then, people then are the like, president. Yeah. Like yeah. who knows what the hell is going to happen, man. Yeah. I couldn't even predict the last one. So yeah. I the think thing is, is like I don't think I can pick any. I guess I'm just shooting myself in the foot here by saying this because they might not come on, but I don't, I'm not, I'm not easy. Yeah. You know, I'm not a Democrat or I'm not a fucking Republican. I'm not even a fucking liberal. You know? yeah. I'm, I'm a, I, I'm a common sense. I'm er. like in the yeah. middle. Like yeah. I'm as in the middle as you could be. Like there's some issues I'm like, yeah, that side. And then there's other issues. I'm like, yeah, that side. Yeah. And I think like yeah. some people that like, people like tribes, right? Yeah. People like really associating themselves with like yeah. a brand and just blindly sticking mm-hmm. with it. So they'll pick like one issue and they're like, that's my issue. I have issue with anyone else who thinks differently on yeah. that. And I just, yeah. I can't relate with that, but. Yeah. I don't have the energy to, be, to fucking super argue. I mean, I'll have a discussion, but just to argue like yeah. nonstop. I see Hutch right going on and on and on all yeah. the time. I don't know how he does like, it, dude. I asked, him, yeah. I asked him one time, we were at an event together and I was like, hey, like, how do you like do that and like have a normal day? And he was like, I just can't stop myself. Like I have to. Yeah. And I was yeah. like, bro, how? Yeah, he, no, he's, he's, uh, he's an interesting man. He. Yeah, look, he's the the international man of mystery, in my opinion. Yeah, he uh, is. That's my dude. Did you know that he was like the, re- well, I mean, I'm sure he's a lot of reasons that like people started their channels, but his like videos at the time were the main reason I started like my YouTube channel. And uh-huh. I, he had like an advice series. This is super cringe. I don't even know if he knows. 
but he had like an advice series and I was going through it, dude. Like this is probably one of the times in my life where I was going through it the most. Yeah. And I wrote him a YouTube message oh, wow. asking for his advice. Did he answer? Did he, reply? he didn't. Oh, fuck <laughs> you, yeah. Hutch. Screw you, Hutch. Yeah, yeah you I was, fake. I you say that you're mean. about the people, but you don't reply to midnight. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, he would put him in another video, right? Kind of like, like we're going to do at the end of the yeah. podcast. Like, we're going to do some advice questions. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, he never, like, responded. It was pretty much just, like, me giving him a page out of my diary. So I could yeah. see why he wouldn't. But, yeah. Uh. I think about it all the time when I'm like, oh, that's right. I did that. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, th- I think he was the first Call of Duty superstar that we all had. Yeah. Oh my God. I mean, Gri- I, well, Grizz, but then yeah. like yeah. from a from a commentator standpoint. Yeah, like he, he was. was the first like personality. Yeah, and he blew up. He bigger than bigger than Grizz, bigger than anybody else. So yeah, it's crazy. Speaking of like superstars, personalities, this place was bumping like a week ago. Yes. So what was that experience like? Because it was almost like. Like, I was here chilling. They were shooting a trivia. There was people screaming. Davis was streaming. Like, it was like your whole ecosystem here brought to life. What was that, like, like for you to see? Uh, it was a very proud moment of mine because ha- everybody has ideas, good ones, amazing ones at times, genius, at, mm-hmm. you know, very few. But not everybody takes the time to really execute. And that's a disservice that people do themselves on a daily basis. Yeah. You know, because... You not following through with an idea is literally you telling yourself that you don't believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. And when, uh, you know, obviously I had my own reasons for for starting this, but this is what I always envisioned, like the next iteration of Optic being. Not obviously this small, something way Mm -hmm. bigger and and better. Uh, But since, you know, this is all me and my money uh, putting it together (laughs) uh, with the help of the sponsors. Seagate has helped a shit ton. so it's 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 really cool that that I've been able to to do what I did because it's 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 it was easy though too because it's like I love this thing this Friday mm-hmm. so what what are we today's Tuesday yep. Monday? Uh, Monday 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 <laughs> it's Tuesday when this is going up yeah, yeah. so today's Tuesday and uh, on Friday my friend from from home this like really he's like I've known him for for years he's he's my crewmate he started what, what happened okay. you're yelling at Closer? her no I'm telling her that she's probably too far away from the oh, microphone yeah. no, I think she's good right Maddie yeah she's good. Um, all good cool. Uh, anyway, so he's a long, long time friend of mine. He he's the guy that created the the graffiti crew that I'm a part of called Villains, yeah. uh, and he's like a world renowned like graffiti writer. He's like front page of magazines. Anyway, yeah, but he's gonna be here painting my oh, painting that wall wow. like a mural. Yeah, it's gonna oh, be fire. Damn. So I'm super psyched about that. I haven't seen him in close to like six months, so it's gonna be good uh, catching up with him and another one of our friends. So that's it'll amazing. Be good. But yeah, I I I couldn't feel more proud at the fact that it worked. Yeah. Right, I. I because you, you never know. You have these ideas and you don't know if, if, mm-hmm. if going through, like, what if it didn't work? Yeah. Not only did I just spend a whole bunch of money, but one of my ideas that I try to execute on f- failed when I could have picked another one of my good ideas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So seeing it come to fruition, like, I, I was super, super psyched about it because, again, a lot of people have great ideas, but they yeah. do themselves a disservice. Yeah. Or they don't do themselves the, the, the honor of, making something come to fruition like they just talk about it yeah, yeah. if the, if what you're saying is like this is just the start yes like that's exciting and this kind of place inspires people that are just watching from home like this is obviously my first time here and just seeing the energy in the room and people being here and just like like hitch just losing his mind streaming it's like yeah. so inspirational for other people too especially yeah. um editing the trivia videos and seeing everybody running around in the background and you just kind of working away on your computer it's like it's so cool and i yeah. don't think people really understand like exactly how so what do you I like it? it? I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's awesome. Yeah. It's yeah. Cool. I don't know. I, I just, I, I try to, so obviously Casey, Casey nice that inspired sort of like, like mm-hmm. a lot of the shit that I do. Yeah. Uh, not from like a cheesy, like, oh my God, he's so fucking inspiring. <laughs> it's just like, like, oh my God, that works really well. Yeah. And this sort of came from that in a way, because obviously the team houses has always been like the thing, yeah. but, um, the inspiration came from the fact that I envision him stepping into his brain every single time he steps into a space. Yeah. Right. You know, like, like I, this is what I want. Like everything that I love and, and, and I like is here, right? Um, memories, mm-hmm. right, with the mm-hmm. trophies. Achievements, there with the trophies. Uh, entertainment, you know, who like, doesn't like to be entertained? But yeah, like, like, there's like mementos that, that mm-hmm. bring everything. That, the Optic Gaming logo up there in the behind that on top of that door, yeah, yeah. that saw two years worth of Optic history because right. it was in the middle of the living room. Yeah. Um, 
And a lot of people were just moved out of that house. A lot of people, a lot of organizations, a lot of, like, they don't do enough to keep culture alive, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And I am super, super, I'm, I'm like a, a, a culture junkie, right? right. I, I know that if you make rules and stick by them, good things happen from mm -hmm. that. So, yeah. I don't know. That's just me. I'm a weirdo. Yeah. But yeah, it felt good. Mm -hmm. I think it's really cool. And I think, like, like we, you brought up Casey and I said, and just before we started recording, I was like, dude, like, this could be like Casey Neistat's studio if you gave him more time. Like, yeah. like as iconic as like we view his studio, yeah. like this could be that for you. But or also building other time. people up too, though. Yeah, exactly. Because like Casey's like it's, it's his brain, it's kind of his thing, and mm -hmm. other people can work there, but it's really his space. Here is like encouraging other people yeah. to pursue their passions, pursue yeah. their goals, and. Just Thank you. You know, I invite a lot of people to come and stream from here, and they just never do. Oh, I'm not I talking will. about anyone. No. I'm just, I, I'm just I, saying I like some, some people yeah. don't. What if I did? Yeah. Would you like every stream? Cotton coffee only? I just did cotton coffee from the CWL event. That was really sick. Mm -hmm. So, like, kind of like. Yeah, you should do whatever. Bring it around, like, yeah. touring yeah. cotton coffee. Yeah. Yeah, touring it cotton down. coffee. I think it'd be good. Maybe it'd, it'd pump some magic. Um, one thing that. Well, we kind of just, like, actually related to a question that I actually did want to ask you. Is that new? Got sunshine? Yeah, it is. My first tat My first tattoo. <laughs> I've got sunshine. Yeah. It's a. Uh, you know, this song. Uh, I've got sunshine. No. My girl, the no. temptations. Of course I did. Okay, <laughs> I was gonna say, holy cow! <laughs> she got it. From the Dude, got it. <laughs> holy cow! No, my mom used to sing that to me all the time when I was a kid. Yeah. So this is a tattoo for my mom. Awesome! Yeah, I love it. So I don't really think I have sunshine, but just it makes me think of my mom and yeah. that she believes I have sunshine. Yeah, so. yeah, that's good. That's do you good. have uh, any tattoos? I do. Yeah, she's got a ton, dude. She has They're like pretty a much all on my legs, though. I have like one here, and then the rest are just on my legs. Dude, she has yeah. a thigh tattoo. That sounds difficult. I have two. This sounds yeah. painful. Oh, Both. I want to do this one. Hurt the most. Oh, oh, really? Soft skin. Mm. Wait, is it soft skin that's worse? Soft skin, like where, because like nothing really touches there, nothing goes there. It's really soft, and then like ribs because it's soft skin on bone. Yeah, so that's that's, that's yeah, not tough. me. No, uh, uh, no. I, I am gonna do the sleeve uh, out of really? the studio here too. So. Oh no wow! Way. Do you yeah. know like a guy or girl? Yeah, or? yeah. Okay. Uh, you got abstracto a tattoos. That's my homie. Dope. He's gonna come cool. in. He's gonna give me a deal. Sweet. He might not even charge me. I don't know. Who we'll knows? Find out. I'll, I'll fucking fly him out here if he's not gonna charge me. Okay. Yeah. Um, One question yeah. I got is what do you feel makes you so good at building up players and personalities? Like you're providing these spaces, or you've worked with players and personalities over all these years. What do you feel like helps you focus on like? Because you're almost good at doing it for like individual people too. Like you know what's gonna work for different people and what won't work for someone else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like what made you wanna do that? And like, I guess like, I'm, what, what works, really I guess. Yeah, like, what, what works worked. for you when doing that? Well, I've always been a big brother. I'm the oldest out of my family. That's how I view you, it's like yeah. my big bro. That's what I'm talking about. So I've always been a, a, a big brother. So as such, you have this sort of like, I mean, I guess I'm old and that's mm -hmm. the way I think about it. Like being born in the 80s, I have to be the one that guides them, you know, to, yeah. to a certain thing. But what made me good at like identifying talent was the fact that everybody's talented. It's just how you bring it out of them. Yeah. Um, wow. And I gave them a place. I gave them a place where I gave them a place where. It's sort of judgment free from the outside world, but I was very, very judgy of, of the way that they were, you know, doing certain videos or whatever. Yeah. Um, because I knew that they weren't themselves while doing those those bad videos. So I, mm -hmm. I, I was judging yeah. the right things to judge. I wasn't, you know, if somebody's cringy at the beginning, everybody was. I sure as hell. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You have to have Still your cringe years. <laughs> <laughs> Jedi's cringe years have lasted a while. <laughs> <laughs> All the time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so I don't know. I think I think that was it. I think uh, that and, and and being able to push them, like yeah. believing that believing in someone does so much for them. Yeah, that's but, true. But but like hammering it down in their brains to believe in themselves is like the best thing you could ever do yeah. for someone. True. And when you come from a place of like you know like endearing and heart and love and all that stuff, it makes it a lot easier for them. You know, to believe in themselves. So I'm like, yeah. well, if this guy who doesn't have to believe in me believes in me, why the fuck wouldn't I believe in myself? Yeah. yeah. Um, and I think that that's one of the things that I'm really good at, 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 at building people up to believe in themselves. And that's, that's what I do. I might freak around and cry because I can relate directly. <laughs> like, yeah. there was a time when you, like, you bought me, like, a, or you sent me, like, a PVR or something to get me HD footage. You were oh, like, wow. you're going to make videos. Let's get you HD and I was like, wow, he's investing like his time, his money. I mean, like mm -hmm. surely like there's something that I'm doing right. And so, and it just like kind of, 
just gave me a good foundation to be like, yes, like let's go. So oh, sweet, that's bro. good. Oh my yeah. god, you both are gonna cry. No, I might actually. Like, yeah, no. It inspires me. I'm gonna go watch yeah. a star. As if well. you ask Judith what annoys me the most, she would say people that cry in front of me. Really? Oh. <laughs> <Yes>. Holy cow! <laughs> no, not, not like that. <laughs> no, no, no. I just don't want to be there. You know, it's like, oh, like, like especially it. when it's something directly to me, like that I yeah. did that made them cry. Is it like because you're gonna cry. Like is, the other I night with so. Roger. Uh, maybe. The other night with Roger. Could you tell? Well, no, I was. Could I try? Did, w- I did cry? you cry too? No. Oh. I was in pu- one, I was in public. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I get really. I don't know. I just never. I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's the the era in which I grew up in that just like macho, it's like emotional like, yeah. feelings. Yeah. yeah. Um. And Jude was really, really clear with me about it's like if we have a boy, you can't tell him not to cry. Oh. And I was oh, like, wow. get the fuck. He's like, yeah. like fucking crying. And now mm-hmm. you have Liv, so it's okay. Yeah, so Everything's it's cool. good. No, and that's the thing. Like, she's so tough, Liv is, that sometimes she's like, when, when she's in front of me, and I hope that she never heard me say that I that I, it annoys me when people cry in front of me. Yeah. Because I different. see her, like, holding back. Like, oh. right now, I feel like I want to cry. No. But I'm not. But, oh. you know, I've seen her, like, hold her tears back in yeah. front of me. And I'm just like, oh, come here, come here, come here. And make, you yeah. Know, let her it's, cry. Yeah. Just come Crying is good. It Don't is. be like me. Dude, and, yeah. And it's let a, your emotions run, yeah. run, run you gotta, wild. You got to have a go. good cry. <sighs> I can't. I can't. It's just I can't allow myself, especially not in public. No. I used to watch The Bachelor. I'm such an asshole. I used to watch The Bachelor <laughs> when it was when it was one girl and all boys. Yeah. Because I knew that there was gonna be like three of those guys who were gonna fucking cry. <laughs> and I'm just like, God damn it, bro! You're on national TV. Dude, <laughs> like, I know. That's like the ultimate shooting the your shot. It's the storylines. Yeah. Yeah. No, and I was just no. like, dude, don't cry. Oh no, my god. There he goes. You, you did. Yeah, it. I was like so annoying, but That's I, crazy. I was like, I laughed and I don't know. That's so I'm, hilarious. I'm, 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 a, I'm not perfect. I'll start there. Mm-hmm. I got one more question I wanted to make sure I asked you. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I mean, mm-hmm. I was trying to think of stuff that you haven't been asked. It's hard, right? Because you know did. me. Yeah. I, I know, well, that's why I was sitting on the ride over. I was like, I know him so well that yeah. it's like I don't know what to ask as yeah. like an outsider. Because I already know. make her think of the question. Because I feel she like, did yeah, we, we got a couple questions, but I honestly, I just feel like I've watched so much content with you in that it. you also that know I, me. Yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. It, that's a weird feeling Isn't that kind of crazy? Like, when you watch someone's content so much, you feel like you're, like, yeah. accustomed to their life or that you're on the inside. Yeah. When you walked in here, did you feel like you've already been here? Yeah, before? actually. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, beauty. yeah, there's the wall, there's yeah. Hitch's setup, like. Yeah, it's the beauty of of, uh, of the internet is, is that it allows you to be a part of somebody's life without being a part of somebody's life. It yeah. allows you to be someone's friend without knowing them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And to me, that's, like, one of the most valuable thing one of the things that nate shot ever said that i use to this day yeah. is that he's he he said that he's like all of the people that watch my show or the watch my, my videos are friends that i've never met yeah and that's the truest shit ever because Damn. i i had i had a moment in 1999 98 99 where i went to a a, a graffiti a hip-hop sort of show, picture south by southwest or yeah. or, or ces <laughs> like a or, mini yeah. convention yeah for like, like for, yeah for graffiti it's called scribble jam right and, nice. and there was it was all four elements of hip-hop it was graffiti breakdancing oh, uh, wow. dj so like and mc a- like uh, battles right uh, it was a it was a, it was one of the first major battles that eminem participated in oh wow before he was discovered that's yeah. awesome Why? it's a, it was in 1997 it was a scribble jam wait you one. were there no i was not there, oh no. i was gonna say if you were <laughs> no. there when eminem was there no, he felt like he was there his, oh okay <laughs> no i no, didn't no because no. it was it was in minneapolis it wasn't in minneapolis it was in ohio somewhere in toledo ohio? anyway it doesn't matter mm-hmm. i went there and uh i saw this guy named idea e-y-e-d-e-a yeah, uh, I've heard it, you talk about him. Yeah, so he was part of Atmosphere. You guys heard mm-hmm. yeah, Atmosphere. atmosphere. Minneapolis. Shouts, yeah. Minneapolis. <laughs> N- hey. Minnesota. Yeah. Anyway, so I saw him, and I had been seeing so much video footage of him, have heard all of his songs, yeah. that when I saw him, I'm like, yo! And <laughs> when he looked at me and didn't recognize me, it, it triggered something in my head that I was just like, holy fuck, I know him, <laughs> but he doesn't know me. So right. this whole internet thing and YouTube sort of gave me a leg up because I ex- firsthand experienced this, mm-hmm. and I'm like... I need to never make, I need to never ever make somebody feel like they don't know or that I don't know them. Yeah. So every single time somebody asks me for a picture, I'm like, I'm like, oh yeah, what's up, man? You know, yeah. I, I, I don't, I don't act different. Yeah, you, know what you don't I'm give like, them that weird, like, who are you? I like, treat what? I treat every single person that, that, that comes up to me the way that I would treat any single one of my players. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that makes Somebody's sense. Somebody's taking too long. I'm like, hey, you're not even fucking ready, man. You know, like if you're not, you're not even ready. Uh, I keep going. You you're good, Maddie? You're breaking shit? <laughs> Okay, no. that's We're that's. Good. I just che- I did a time yeah. check too, but no, he's thank uh, you. Yeah, so 
so I, I, I make sure that I talk to everybody. Like, if they're not ready, I'm gonna. I'm gonna be like, ah, you're not ready, man. You're wasting yeah. my time. I gotta go. It's like it's been business ways for no man. And yeah. they, and they, they're like, they accept it because they know that that's the way I am. Like, yeah. I don't. The the easiest thing that I, I understand that some people change their personality on YouTube. Mm-hmm. They have to. I'm I'm okay with that. Yeah. If that's their show. It's like a persona. Yeah, but but for me, it's it makes it a lot easier for me to be me, <laughs> yeah. and I don't have to fucking keep up with this. Like, yeah. Oh shit, I you know i should care more about something you know what i'm saying like i it's it's hard so so yeah that's really cool i think like even you like saying that you've been to those types of conventions and like that's literally like everything about that is culture i think just like you brought that into esports yes. as well, which is cool yeah mm-hmm. you know, um, I, but you t- or optic in my head was always supposed to be like the wu-tang clan of 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 <laughs> video games in a sense we definitely or, are yeah. right yeah i'm the rizza 100 yeah absolutely <laughs> because uh, like wu-tang was one of the first groups that that was famous as a group yeah. but then every single one of their members was famous enough to create their own thing where they need they didn't need each other but they yeah. were with each other because they liked each other That's can awesome. i be method man <laughs> you can be whoever you want i'm there method you man well method man sort of transcended all of Wu-Tang, yeah. including the RZA, so I, I would give that to either Nate or Yeah, okay, or Nate Chai can be, I just really <laughs> like Nate Method Man, so that's why I wanted, yeah, I don't even think I am him. Everybody who doesn't like yeah. Method Man. I don't, you know? Do you like Method Man? I do like Method Man. Okay, good. Yeah, we good. We good. I'll, I'll, just, I'll, I'll try to set you up. I was going to be like, damn, <laughs> rude, jeez. I know, I'm messed up. <laughs> oh my God. What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's one thing within esports that you have not done yet that you would like to do one day? Or can, if you can't say, it's cool. But like, what is one thing that you feel like you haven't touched yet that you want to? Within like esports in the realm of um, it. Two things. I'd like to be uh, talent for once. I mean, I think I get to experience that now for, yeah. because of the past year. Um, where I'm not like my hand isn't on on the wheel. Right. I'm sorry, uh, but that I'm or sorry. or uh, or like player representation. Oh yeah. Like, I think that I'd be. I mean, I've done it all my life with these guys, but I think that I have more to offer to like the Le- to like everyone. an actual like association for the players. Yeah, Do, yeah. Like could a, you see yourself like yeah, like a, structuring things to yeah. help the pro players? Yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah, yeah. Personalities. That's cool. Yeah. That'd be really cool. You know, especially now that you know. Everything. makes it a lot, makes it a lot easier to to really see it from the inside and and having the ability to say you know from an organizational sp- standpoint you have to understand why we can't yeah. do this and to be able to communicate that to players like it helps everybody because just like on YouTube I, there, there was a point in YouTube where people wouldn't like collab with people because they didn't want them to get bigger because they yeah. think that they would get bigger and then they wouldn't grow anymore yeah. but YouTube is so massive that uh, there's room for everybody yeah, right yeah, and yeah. I think Build I think in esports is we're, we're going through the same thing where organizations don't have to necessarily be or make a deal that's going to be bad for the players to at the at, you know sacrifice the wellness of the players to make their business <clears throat> do well yeah same thing with leagues leagues don't have to sacrifice the wellness of the orgs and the players to make their league succeed True. Uh, i think there's room for everybody to be equally successful and that's what i think that i i could offer if uh if you know given the opportunity or a different situation yeah, yeah. i think that that's a really cool way to look at it like yeah absolutely because i feel like you have the organiz like you know what it's like to like run an org and like what kind of that needs but also you're so close to your players that like you know what players need so to kind of represent them in that way and you've done it yourself too like especially like content stuff like you you know it works for you you know it's going to work for other people so and they see you working and i think that makes a huge difference yeah 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 Yeah. 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 cool you guys ready to do some advice questions are you down i think you have you have one or two and i have two right here yeah every once in a while we end these off just asking people if they're going through any life wow this this thing went quick i know well he he just gave us the warning and we usually spend like a while on advice otherwise we just finish off Uh, no let's go let's go as long as we can i mean if there's memory in there i think we're good he said there's 30 minutes and we're about no i think he he did something else to it anyway it doesn't matter yeah either way either way do you want to go with one yeah let's do this first one this is actually like a really good one um diego asks What's up, Diego? Diego, what's up on Twitter? How do you manage to keep your relationship interesting when you and your significant other mm. have interests and hobbies that differ quite a bit? That's exactly how you keep it interesting. I was, Ju- yeah. yeah. Ju- Judith and I have been together for 17 years. I've known her since we since, um, since 90. I don't know, a long time. Uh, and she's got her own shit that she's passionate about. I have my own shit that I'm passionate about. Uh, I support her as much as I can. Sometimes not enough, and I and I know that which is why she's the saint that she is uh, because she supports me just 
one thousand percent on everything that I do. I wouldn't be where I'm at if it, if, if it wasn't for her. But you know, she's got her thing that she does, and I have my thing yeah. that I do, and we do a really good job of respecting each other's, you know, things, yeah. Yeah. passions and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, and we're very passionate about each other as well. Yeah, that makes a huge that difference. That helps a lot. Yeah. Well, like it's like you want to see the other person. Like if you're, when you're in a relationship, it's really serious. Like you want to see the other person win and. Mm-hmm it should be vice versa right yeah absolutely and i think like oh i I push her all the time like i i right now as we speak i have uh my designer designing her logo for her for her podcast it's paw cast she's doing a podcast oh like paws and like dogs yeah she's gonna gonna talk about like dogs and behavior i don't care Uh, she should talk about about something that has to do with that i also try to get her to make videos about her decorating like she decorated seth's house like she didn't record any of it and you know i I didn't do a good enough job i would love to see that people would like yeah people love that kind of stuff hgtv yeah Yeah, so I, I think I've got to push her a little bit more. I should treat her like I, I, to, I tell her all the time too. I'm like, baby, I'll, I'll support you, but I'm gonna treat you like I treat one of my players. And I don't <laughs> yeah. know if you're ready. To, you're ready for if that. If you're ready for that, yeah. you know, and as long as it doesn't affect you know our, our our home, then I'll treat you like I will treat any other talent. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah. That's funny. That's awesome I think it's though. important to like. I think it's important to have like similar interests a little bit with whoever you're with, just so you kind of have some common ground, like. What if you hated like different movies or like they played a certain type of music that you hate? You're like, oh my God, you're like, oh, who are you? Mm-hmm. You know, but like to kind of be separate, but together, like you're yeah. leading your separate lives. Yeah. I think it's important that people have their own identity in relationships because yeah. too many people just latch on to oh, the yeah. other person. So when I've you have, yeah, everybody, I think everybody has at least yeah. once. No, nope. not Hector. No, you never just like, you probably had the latch then. Ooh. Maybe yeah, like they <laughs> latched onto you, and you were just no, you. no. I was, no. I was, I was, I was always very good at at letting my girlfriends know that I'm like these are my boys. I, <laughs> this is what I do. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's true. Awesome. Yeah, I think like I don't know. It's important to have your own identity in a relationship, like like yeah. Jed I just said, and like then kind of like when when two people are parallel and then they come together in the relationship and yeah. but they're still going their own way you can go your own way you can do you know you can take this like i can take the time to stream yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they can do time take time do whatever and then come back yeah and everything's good. and then wanting yeah. the other person to win that's yeah. true helps a lot. I, I think too many people in relationships secretly hope that the other the person that they're with always stays like below them and that's just not a healthy way to be and people are like strange. that with their friends too it's weird yeah it's like if they get like the leg up on you then they're like oh yeah i love to see my friends succeed Same. like it makes me genuinely happy yeah, same. so same. it's wild same. when they don't the other yeah. the other thing is like she's really i don't know i i literally think <clears throat> that i got i mean i'm the luckiest i i'm yeah. so selfish and she's like <sighs> all like she understands that i'm selfish as hell right yeah, yeah. i i'm i think it, the I, and i've always told her i'm like it's like it's like 70 30 i mean i don't know it may be Damn, that on balance that's high oh, dude. i know I, i'm just but you know I'm like I'm, he's honest with parallel himself. lines and hector's like 70 30 yeah but i'm, I'm like I, everything that I do is for them, so yeah, it's like I don't know. It balances. It. I mean, selfishly, I have a lot of fun doing it too. So it's, yeah, I don't know. well, yeah, like you worked hard well, I was to gonna, make yeah, it fun before this. Like before you were doing this, you know, it, you were even working then. really hard, or even then you were like, well, no, I, no, like even then, right? Like I, the, the whole year that uh, that I took to sort of get this thing started, like she was the one that was working. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So she's she's uh, she's definitely the the MVP. Jude's the MVP. Uh, Jude is the MVP. I would like it. selfishly love to see her back on here. I don't know why. Yeah. Uh, on yeah, the yeah, job. That was another great podcast. episode. Yeah. Wait, can we ask Jude to be on our podcast? Yeah, of yeah. course. I don't know if she would do it. Of course she would. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Oh, I'd I'd be be love that. Yeah. I'd be stoked. Yeah. Yeah. Shoot your shot 2019. <laughs> exactly. That's I what we're saying. Shoot that. your shot, not your foot. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That was yeah. good. I yeah, saw yeah, that. That you. was really good. Thank you. Dude, we were walking around the event talking about guys like shooting their shots and Yet I was like, yeah, but they're shooting your shot. Then they're just being like awkward about it, making people uncomfortable. And I was like, yeah. yeah. And then she said it. And I was yeah. like, they're shooting their foot. I've been yeah, putting out a lot of is. quotes that people have been saying. I put out another one. She said, Joe, yesterday I was talking to Joe and he was, we we're talking about vegetables. We we're like, Joe, you should eat more vegetables. And I was like, when's the last time like you ate a vegetable? And he's like, I have broccoli in 04. Yeah, like, I haven't had broccoli. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, he was in like fourth I haven't had broccoli since 04, and I don't mess with lettuce. <laughs> yeah, he's wild. and yeah. But he's trying to eat a little better. So mm-hmm. I'm like, we, should, we were like, you should eat vegetables. That's too. what I said, yeah. He's oh, like, I'm stopping boy. bread. I'm quitting bread for a week. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. I can't picture <laughs> Baby that. Baby steps. Baby steps. I mean, yeah. Absolutely. Dude, I watched him the last time we went to 54th Street. Just That had to be a whole loaf. I'm proud of him <laughs> for it. I've never, e- I've never eaten with Joe. What? Yeah. Ever? Ever. I'm, s- I'm scared based on what you're saying. He's wild. <laughs> yeah. He's oh, wild. no. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I was going to say, there's uh, no way. No, we did. When we went the to. The diner? Yeah, no. Uh, hibachi. Oh, uh, yeah. Remember 
Oh, he's like, yeah. I don't eat egg. Yo, the egg, that's eat right. eggs. Dude, we're at a hibachi place. It's the clip you put on Twitter, but like the the guy, I forget. Yeah, what yeah they throw shit they, at Yeah, you. they throw the egg. Yeah, and like it lands in Joe's. I don't know why he had his mouth open if he doesn't like eggs. No, he went to catch it. I would have been like, uh-huh. no, thank you. I don't need egg. Yeah. He had his mouth open though. I don't know. He was waiting for and it. And then he, he spit it out. He was He's a funny guy. Egg. He's hilarious. He's Shots to Joe. <laughs> um, do you have? Do you want to do the other one, and then I'll ask this one last. Sure. Okay. So there's another question that had a little bit more to do with kind of like career sure. options. Um, my specialty. That's what I thought. So <clears throat> basically, uh, we have someone. She says, uh, "I recently started second guessing." This is Carol, Caroline Burke. Burke. Yeah, Seaberg. Seaberg. One of my hardcore viewers. Shots to Seabergs. Yeah. So she said, I, um, I've recently been second guessing my choice of path I took in schooling. Currently, I have a degree and now I'm back at school for the next two years for a college program to finish up something that goes hand in hand with my degree. But recently, I've been thinking about changing up my path and applying to schools for multimedia design. Uh, it's basically a 180 from what, I, what I'm doing right now and I'm nervous about making a decision this big. I've always loved making videos and I've been interested in graphic design, but when I decided to go to school, it was never a th- it, I never thought that I could actually make a career out of it. So now that I've already been to school for so long relating to another topic, do you think it's worth going back to school again? I feel like since I've already committed so much time into schooling for a completely different topic, it would be a waste of seven years of my life. That's a hell of a question. So basically, oh, that was like seven <coughs> years. Of I know so that was like a, that was a relationships one one for hits. Yeah, right? you're, a, you're a very good reader. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. You nailed um, it. So there's because I'm, I'm I was good. <laughs> seven right. years of schooling, <laughs> and now she's like, God, did I do the right thing? And like, yeah, I have my own opinions on this because I went to school. But yeah, I was I don't gonna know say you, you want to go first. But no, you go. You went to school way longer than me, bro. Yeah, I, I I'm kind of of the firm belief, especially if you're in America, that education here is way way more expensive and if you're if it's something that there's a couple of options here because i don't actually think you need to go to school for graphic design in this culture i think that you can just teach yourself how to do things and your portfolio is going to speak more yeah especially if it's like esports that you're interested in mm-hmm. like people will take chances on you based on what they can see but if i don't think you don't think of it's a it's a sunk time fallacy you look at all the things you've already done and you don't want to throw it away because you you see it as wasting time but mm-hmm. in reality the longer you stay on a path that you're not happy with you're actually just wasting more time yes. For real. So if you were genuinely passionate about this new thing, maybe pursue it. Or you could just take a little break from what you're doing right now while you figure out what you're doing. Because she's done her core degree by the yeah. sounds of it. So she could just take some time. I, I'm a big proponent of taking time, especially when it comes to, like, school. Yeah. Because it's, like, essentially what you've done. Like, do you do you know that, like, <laughs> Jedi is, like... What is, what is it that you're like certified? Or I have a or I have a, a double major in forensic anthropology and psycho um, no, awesome. and criminology doctor, and psychology. You, you doctor uh, Brennan, Candace, uh, what's her name? Brennan from Brennan, Bones. Brennan from Ro- yeah. Um, I can't remember her name right now. I don't know. Temperance. I, yeah, Brennan. Temperance Brennan from Bones. Actually, the uh, author of that book series did a talk in one of my classes because she's from around where I live in yeah. Canada and what? she's friends with my professor. Yeah, That's well, my amazing. Old professor. One of my favorite shows of all time. I know how to kill someone. Yeah. Oh my God. Do you listen, both know how to kill someone? Listen, uh, Bones, probably, Dexter, oh, certified. Yes. Dexter. Oh, maybe a True. little bit of NCIS. To know, no, but Dexter yeah. Carver saw that. Dude, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. What's your, what's your, uh, my opinion is that you should <clears throat> follow what you want to do. I, I think maybe like you should really take the time to think about it because you might just be doubting yourself because you're afraid of the next step. You say, okay, I'm done with school. Oh my God, I have to go get like my big kid job now. Like this is scary. But if you reflect on that more and say, wow, like, yeah, I genuinely won't be happy doing this. And I know that. And if you know you're going to be unhappy doing this, I always say that you should always do what you feel like, like anything in life that I've been drawn towards, like in my heart, Mm -hmm. like has always worked out for me. Okay, and so if you're not drawn to this thing you have your degree in, you know, you're still so young. Like, you can change change up uh, real quick. I think she's, like, low, like, the right side of 25. The right side of 25. Well, like seven, year, well, seven 25. years. Of, if she did seven years of school, she's probably, like, 25. 24. She'd 24, be 20, 25. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So, I mean, you're in the mid of your 20s. You probably feel, oh, I'm so old compared to maybe some of the people you went to school with, but mm-hmm. you're not. Like, you still have a long time to figure out what you're doing. I didn't even really start getting my yeah. wheels going until, like, 23, 24. So. Yeah. I had a full career by the time I was 28. Almost went bankrupt in 29 after the bubble burst. Oh, yeah. And I still made it out alive. So yeah, I, I take the Gary Vee route in, in schooling mm-hmm. where if you're not paying for it, or if you're not putting yourself in any sort of like situation where you owe any sort of money in that, take that route because yeah. 
I don't know, owing or st- starting at a deficit by owing money like it's it's not it's not ever good i it's terrifying. I, when, I didn't go to college or i went for like one semester and it just wasn't for me same um <laughs> yeah it, it was i don't know it, it wasn't because of that it, i just didn't it was just not for me yeah, and i happens. said you know I, growing up the way that i did i always knew that i was never i couldn't i couldn't allow anybody to i couldn't be poor i couldn't be i, I couldn't continue to be poor yeah so the way that i saw it and i didn't like school i said if i like money i'm gonna work at a bank and then i started working at a bank and little by little i started making yeah. a career out of that um but yeah the my advice to that is if if it's not costing you any money then sure take your time and do anything but if you're borrowing money to finish something that you may not necessarily even yeah. like who the who who knows yeah, right who knows who, where are we going to be like <laughs> what, what's going to be invent how old is is twitter how old is youtube i like, don't even forever, know right yeah. who knows what other opportunities are coming down the pipeline and if you're wasting your time not wasting your time if you're spending your time yeah. doing something that you're passionate about now doesn't necessarily mean that you know that you're going to be doing that to begin with mm-hmm. and yeah. maybe it's going to take another you know right turn and yeah. it's going to be something uh, like a lot more opportunities out there in the future like i know a lot of my friends have gone to college to do whatever the fuck it is that they want <laughs> to do and none of them are doing whatever the fuck they went to go study for very yeah, common so, exactly yeah or even like i know people that graduated with four-year degree they're in eighty thousand dollars of debt can't get a job mm. in their field yeah. don't want to get a job in their field and now they're just like yeah i don't have debt so like i really think like i paid it all off yeah. so i'm happy for Nailed that it, yeah but yeah. you did pay it though i did yeah. well, i worked through school like yeah. i worked oh, the okay. entire time so i was yeah. kind of paying as i was going jedi's a grinder dude. <laughs> i try i try yeah um but especially when it's something like like graphic design that's something you can teach yourself and you can work on that on the side and then you can kind of figure out if it's something you're actually passionate about because like that's what i yeah. did when i was kind of working i started making videos figuring out if i liked it and i kept pushing it and pushing it and it's like finally getting to a point where i'm like i'm good with this you know yeah it's like i was working in my field for a bit until like the section of time ran out yeah and then i was just like i'm actually just gonna work at a gym for a bit and see if i can push this to a point where i can make money and it was always just a little bit little bit so there's really no reason just to completely jump full because it's not like you're deciding between oh i've been going to school to be a doctor now i want to be a lawyer yeah like that would involve actually going to school for something else like yeah. graphic design you yeah, can just you, shoot your shot and find your passions you can and then if, do you that know, every day doesn't work out you got something to fall you back have on. yeah exactly and that's again dope. how how funny is it that now education <laughs> is the thing you fall back on i well, know right that, that's always been the thing what am i talking about yeah but like more right. so but like when i was going through school they're like you have to go to university and like they weren't pushing trades they weren't pushing anything and then it's like now you have all these people who just and have the world changed the world changed yeah, yeah. You never know what's gonna happen next, so just yeah. exactly. follow your heart. That's what I say. I know it's shitty advice. Yeah. But yeah. Look, mm-hmm. I, people always say it's cheesy, but would you rather be making eighty grand a year in a job that you don't like, or sixty grand in in, in something that you love doing? I fuck those twenty k. You know, yeah. that's exactly it. Exactly. Yeah. I got one more advice question, then we got to sign off. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Aaron asks. I'd just like to tell him thanks for captioning the candid black and white photo of the COD team after their attorney exit. This mm-hmm. this picture. iPhone. The iPhone. The iPhone. Oh, damn. <laughs> the pic speaks volumes. And oh, I want to ask how he personally copes with suffering losses at, as depressed as a fan, perhaps more so. So how do you take like when the guys lose, basically? Like, do you feel... Yeah, it How sucks. Yeah. It yeah. sucks, but I, I, I've been there so many times that it's just, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a bad day at work. Yeah. Bad yeah. day at work. Yeah. Uh, there's, uh, you know, it doesn't end there. You still have a, an entire season to play out. Mm-hmm. And I know that they're going through a tougher sort of scenario since they're the ones that lost. They were the ones on main stage. They were the ones that all eyes were on. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my job is literally to be there for support. Like I, I made it a rule for very, for very early, and everybody knows this, that I may not necessarily be there when they win, but I'm 1,000% of the time going to be there when they lose, wow. except for champs last year because I had to be at his wedding. Nonetheless, mm-hmm. I, I'd rather be there for support when they are in a, in a bad situation than to be there when the, the, yeah. they're happy, mm-hmm. you know? So, be. so just being there. like Yeah, just being there. How do I cope with it? Again, I, I, I'm 39 years old. I know that, you know, although tomorrow is never promised, I know that I get a shot at it again tomorrow. Yeah, yeah that's there's true. always eyes forward, right? You yeah. don't want to spend too much time like in this, like, because mm-hmm. when I look at like the discussion yeah. on the Reddit and yeah. stuff, it's like they just take they take it really hard, which they is understandable. Do. Yeah, but, like, no, I appreciate it. If, yeah. if they're taking it that hard, imagine the players and like as a yeah. player when you have to 
know that this isn't the end all be all like some I've noticed that some people act like it's the end of the world when they lose. They know? really do. And it's like, guys, there's another tournament in a couple months. Yeah, there's another tournament. We're like, you know, not even Get halfway the story through lines. this year's tournaments. Like, obviously, at yeah, champs loss, that's a big L. No, and, and I, I feel like we skipped a beat, though, too. Like, those two weeks, although we didn't think it was going to be that bad, but the, the two weeks where we didn't have Dashy, like, obviously oh, had yeah. its yeah. thing, right? Yeah. It, was, it, it was that plus, um, I don't know, it was, it, was, it was domino effect. That plus something else and then coming to the boot camp and, and trying to correct shit like we just didn't have enough time yeah. Uh, yeah. but you know we, we have them back and it was you know things out of everybody's control so exactly mm-hmm. you know move forward on nice to forward. the next one on it's a long year it, it is like i mean we are i mean it feels like it's going so fast but you got there's way more tournaments it's march mm-hmm. mid-march already i know <laughs> it's wild 2019 is wild so far it really is how do you feel about 2019 so far is it like good uh a lot was of it kind of a nice to scrub 2018 a little bit and just like go into <laughs> new year no, I, I think uh, some of the 2018 is carrying over for me on onto 2019 but you know there's a there's a lot of things happening that i'm i'm excited about so we'll see how it turns out i'm excited yeah. too bro even just just being here uh, I, I don't know. Like like I said earlier, if this is step one for you or the beginning in your mind, like I'm stoked to yeah. see what's going uh, to go exactly. on. Exactly. I want to shock the world. Heck yeah. <laughs> We're shock waiting for it. <laughs> Heck yeah, bro. Well, is that a good spot to end it? I feel yeah, like I think that, that is a out. great We're spot to end it. Yeah. So. Yep. I'm good. We're pretty close. Good. Anything you want to sign out with? Or? Yeah, is there anything else that you wanted to say or just uh, Yeah, uh, talk uh, about? be sure to like this video, support it in every way possible. Uh, it's, it's a really good one. I'm, I'm please, uh, please ask me to come back why again. Are, please why are do. we so good at podcasts? Yeah, <laughs> like, I, was, I was born to talk shit. Dude. <laughs> I dig it. <laughs> Same. We all talk a lot. Like, individually, we all talk so much. So it's like yeah. wild depth. Three. This is my first like try cast, I think, in real life, too, which is really cool. So, no, yeah. we did the podcast, the Optic podcast. With only three, though? Oh, oh, oh yeah. 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 There you go. That's what I'm saying. And you're running it. Just apparently. You're a good host. <laughs> Thank you. Good I host. appreciate that. GGs. GGs. Appreciate it. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Follow all of our social media. will be down in the description. Come check out the stream. We might be streaming a couple of these podcasts live here and there. But we're definitely going to keep consistent now that we've had Hector on. We were kind of were saving a good episode for him. So I'm stoked Absolutely. that we did it. Awesome. Yeah. awesome. Well, thank you for the invite. And when you said come check out, they were going to say come check out the Hex Court. So I was going to be like, whoa. <laughs> not yet. No, 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 <laughs> no. No, don't do that. One day, though. One day. Yeah, yeah, yeah this for would, sure. This, oh, bro. That would yeah, yeah, be insane. No, 100%. I just got to figure out a way for uh, a higher, like a, bodyguard for the yeah for the collectibles yeah, like security. but aside from that you know <laughs> for the collect <laughs> for yeah. michael george for you have to though yeah <laughs> oh yeah i don't like when people say hey can i come check out the hex wars i'm like no not yet this you is know, my brain it's, it's not even done man it's like <laughs> it's 60 percent i got a lot of things to to still do so mm-hmm. maybe maybe one day i was in here when you had the carpet and like eight chairs so this is looking <laughs> pretty like dope to me like Heck you yeah. really glowed it up so yeah all right appreciate you guys watching enjoy the rest of your day peace out